folks, how are we doing today? Uh, well, here we're gonna do just a little bit of preemptive uh, cooking for dinner tonight. First off, I wanna go ahead and do my uh, balsamic glaze or reduction, if you will. It's kinda like, if you think of what a vinaigrette is, we're gonna do the same thing, basically, except we're gonna heat it. And by heating it, we're gonna reduce that. First and foremost, uh, um, we're going to show you the different ingredients. Obviously, you can kind of change what you want to do. Uh, if you have a question, put it in the comments. But uh, here we go. Right, Let's so see first off, we've got our balsamic vinegar. I'm going to use, I think, about three quarters of a cup. Um, we don't need a, a ton of this stuff, so I'm going to use a... Um, I don't really don't uh, like to measure, but a lot of people ask for measurements, so we'll just kind of do it that way. So we got about three quarters of a cup there. We're gonna go right into a saucepan. Uh, I'm gonna do about a quarter of a cup of oil. All right, we gotta do about maybe two, maybe uh, three tablespoons of honey. And all this is a, is a way to balance it. So um, if you don't want it too sweet, you like that vinegar taste, then that's where you go ahead and just reduce the amount now. Next thing I'm gonna do, which may sound a little weird, is we're gonna actually put some Dijon mustard in. Why you wanna do Dijon, or mustard basically, is that it's gonna impart uh, a chemical called lecithin. And lecithin is naturally common in egg, in egg yolks and in mustard. So anytime you wanna make a vinaigrette, if you wanna bring them together, if you use um, any type of mustard, it will take that oil and that vinegar and it will bind it in an emulsification, uh, which is basically just a way to combine unmixable liquids. All right, so now we're gonna use a little bit of cracked black pepper. All right, a little kosher salt. You gotta always season it with some salt. All right, we're gonna whisk this together. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and turn it down to medium, stirring frequently. We just wanna reduce this by maybe 25%. Just nappe, just barely coming off the spoon. All right, so we've wrapped up. We've got our uh, balsamic glaze ready to go. Um, we're gonna have our chicken that's in the brine. We've got our Brussels sprouts that we're gonna do to, uh, with our cauliflower mash. I think I'm gonna do a cauliflower mash, but um, I'm kind of channeling my inner Scott Conan tonight uh, with my hair, you know, with all this craziness. Uh, I'm just gonna keep rocking with it. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and Finish this dish off for you. All right. I hope you enjoy.